Hello everyone and welcome to the replacement of this jacked up iPod video front. Now I've gone ahead and skipped the step of how to open the iPod since you can see that in my iPod headphone jack hack and the last video of this series about how to replace the headphone jack and the battery pack. Now, as you may know already, we will disconnect the battery by pulling up the connector down here, place the battery up there, flip the hard drive out and disconnect hold switch and headphone jack. Okay, now you can see if you were to replace your screen, you would have to flip this up as well. Now let's start the replacement of the front. We have six screws that hold our front in place. We will have to unscrew all six of them and then take off the front. Now let's get started. Screw number one. And be careful not to lose these screws. It can be quite tricky to get them back if you are not careful enough. Which is why I am using this shiny white surface to do this work on. Now one, two, and three. Six screws are removed. Now we only have to kind of get this off, which, as you can see, is quite easy since we're removing a broken piece. We don't need to take much care of this piece at all. Now Let's see if the China replacement part is identical. Well, it looks pretty much the same, although it is white. Now, as you can see, it does have a foil down here that we need to remove before sticking it on. And it does have some protective foil on top as well, which I will only remove when I am done. Now, as you can see, the click wheel is made of made up of two parts. Okay, as I was saying, no. the four dots on the middle button have to align with the four indentions on the click wheel. No, they do. And then we can place our new front on it. Doesn't this look nice? White iPod, black click wheel. I think that it's just a really cool idea. It's pretty much like the YouTube version where it was black and a red click wheel. Anyway, now, now let's put all six screws back into the front. Now as you can see, we have all six screws back in the device. We need to put the headphone jack connector in first. 
So, headphone connector goes in. Socket, flip that switch over. Now, put the connector for the battery back in. Push down on that connector and kind of bend over the battery cable. Put it all together. Alright, now we have a white iPod with a black touch or click wheel rather than a black totally messed up front. See if the battery has a pre-charge. It does fire up. And there you have it. I bought video front replacement and headphone jack replaced and battery pack also replaced. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment on this video or subscribe for more videos.